I'm not talking about drywall this time. I'm just talking about life. Because life does happen. I'll be celebrating 33 years of sobriety. And, uh, and I, I've worked with a lot of different people. Uh, drug addicts, alcoholics, compulsive gamblers, liars, hiders, thieves, manipulators. Uh, I've worked with the, all of them. And the reason being is because I am that. That's, that's, I consider myself being all of that myself. And, uh, but I, I found that the hardest thing people can do, or the hardest thing for people to do, is to live life on life's terms. You know, they, they want to be above everything and everybody. They want to put themselves on a pedestal and keep other people below them rather than equal to them. And, and I find that very, very disturbing a lot of times. You know, they have to have the nicer house, the nicer car, the, the nicer everything. And that's great. I mean, if, if, if you can afford those things, by all means, get them. I, I, I would love to have those things too. And, uh, but don't think of yourself higher than anybody else. That, that doesn't work. I would never try to put myself above anybody else when it comes to finishing. There are as many types of finishers as there are, there are just as many types of different personalities out there as there are finishers, drywall finishers, is the best way to put it. Nobody's doing it the right way or the wrong way. If the finished product is acceptable for the people who you're doing the work for, that's good, that's okay, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I hope I don't try to, none of my videos try to put me above anybody else. I, I would hate to have that happen. You know, I, I try to live life on life's terms. I try to do things that, that just keep me healthy, healthy mentally, healthy emotionally, healthy physically. You know, I'm in pretty good health for 57 years old. You know, I really am healthy physically especially healthy spiritual. I, I find that to be the most important thing in my life is to have a spiritual health about me to where I can accept people for who they are, not who I think they ought to be. And when I start looking at people and accepting them for who they are, period, just who they are, period, um, I have way more peace in my life. I don't get mad, I don't get angry. I, I just, I have a very healthy emotional balance. So, with all of that said, I wanted to say this too. Uh, I'm a realtor also. I'm a realtor in the state of Illinois. I'm not just a drywall contractor. I'm also a real estate agent for a company here in the northern half, northern hemisphere of Illinois. And uh, so, I don't know if I can say that properly, but I guess I would say I'm the realtor. Uh, let's see, wait, how would you see, see the, the real estate brother from another mother, because I think I might get in trouble saying property. I don't know. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm the property brother from another mother. I don't just do drywall either. I, I'm very handy. My dad was a general contractor, a carpenter contractor by trade, and I mean an old time carpenter contractor. As a matter of fact, he saw my miter saw one time, my electric miter saw that had a laser line and everything else, and he goes like this, he goes, what do you need that for? I can cut that wood just as fast by hand. And I go, Dad, I am not a trim carpenter by trade, but I would bury you, absolutely bury you with my miter saw. So the next time I go to visit him in Missouri, he's got a miter saw with the laser line and everything else. And I was like, all right, elite, welcome to the 20th century. And, uh, but my dad was an old time carpenter, old Swedish carpenter who you could just give him raw lumber, all raw wood. He could cut it, hand plane it, do whatever he had to. I mean, his, his screw gun or his drill was at one of these and, uh, and he could just do whatever he wanted. I watched him build circular staircases from scratch. That's how good he was. But, uh, so I'm just here just to talk a little bit and you say, you know what, there's, a, there's an old saying that we have, it's called KISS, K-I-S-S, -S. keep it simple, stupid. And they say that because we are very, we are, we are very uh, 
complicated people trying to live a simple life. You know, and so we make life so much more complicated than it needs to be. And if we can just keep it simple, uh, I said that to, to a guy one time, and he goes, you know, Ray, a lot of people don't like being called stupid. And I said, yeah, I was one of them. And when they said, keep it simple, stupid, to me, I was like, yeah, I'm one of those people too. I didn't, I didn't like being called stupid. And, uh, but you know what? I needed to be, because I needed to put things in perspective and I needed to live life on life's terms, and I needed to uh, not make not make a big deal about stuff. You know, it's uh, it's life. Live it, and uh, and if you're not living it, uh, I feel sorry for you. I really do. If if I, I you know I made I made drugs an addiction. I made alcohol an addiction. I made work. An addiction. I was a workaholic for a number of years, and I worked 70, 80 hours a week for years, and uh, didn't watch my kids grow up or anything. And so I had a lot of a lot of things that I made more important than, than life, than living a good life. Do you have to work? Absolutely, you have to. But you can do it in moderation. You can do it and still live. You don't have to make work your life. One of the common sayings that I, that I used to say is, is I used to, I, I eat to live, I don't live to eat. So people with eating addictions have heard that many times. I live to eat, I don't, I'm sorry, I, I eat to live, I don't live to eat. But after I quit smoking, food, food tasted very, very good. And I understood what people meant when they lived to eat because food tasted so good. I couldn't wait to try this and try that. Uh, and I put on a lot of weight. Now, trust me, I, I needed to put on weight, but I didn't need to put on as much as I did, but I didn't get overweight. I didn't get obese by no means. Uh, I could just, I could lose, I could withstand to lose a few pounds, but, uh, but live life, guys. Just, just live it. Get healthy mentally, emotionally, physically and spiritually, and you will not be disappointed at all. You have a great day. If you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.